My name is Angelina Fentress and I am your 2020-2021 Florida Governor. As the president of your club, a lot of responsibilities to lead and organize your club fall on your shoulders, but I'm here to help you handle those responsibilities with a few tips. As the club's chief officer, your attendance at all club meetings and events is essential to preside over all activities and decisions your, your board makes. Along with this, the attendance of your club members is important as well to having an active and strong club for your school. To achieve this, members need to be encouraged to attend and have constant access to information on where and when events will take place. This leads me to my next point, communication. A very important factor for running a successful, a successful club is having strong communication amongst your board members and amongst club members. To achieve this, I suggest monthly club meetings to discuss any new updates or events happening and how everyone can participate. At these meetings, make sure every club member feels important and a part of the activities. Outside of club meetings, find an app that best works for you, whether it be GroupMe or Remind, to send out information and links to every member in a timely manner. Lastly, a strong leader must hold board meetings to discuss projects and service opportunities for the club amongst the other board members. With this comes the difficult task of delegating authority and making sure that every officer is doing their part to help grow the club. Remember, this is a team effort and board members need to support each other in order for the activities of the club to run smoothly. As a leader, make it known that you are there for support and help whenever it is needed. As a recap, you are the leader of your club and must attend all events and encourage your members to attend as well. Have strong communication amongst your board and club members, and lastly, delegate authority while working as a team. I know this sounds like a lot of responsibility, but it is doable, and you are always only one call away from a fellow Civitan who wants to help you succeed in your position. My name is Courtney Day, your Florida District Deputy Governor for the 2020-21 term, here to talk to you about the responsibilities of the Vice President. The role of the Vice President is to fulfill the following duty, including but not limited to organizing and managing the Executive Board along with the Club President and fulfill all duties of the President in vacant. In order to accomplish his mission, the Vice President must keep a close contact with the President. It is also the role of the Vice President to assist the other Executive Board members in their duties. You can do this by contributing to the operations and projects, projects of the clubs, whether it is to help the President with their agendas, the Secretary with their paperwork and minutes, or the Treasurer with the funds. To do this effectively, you must be involved with the work and understand the policies of your clubs. As Vice President, your position isn't defined by one role, but instead multiple. As Vice President, so as Vice President, your responsibilities to be informed, it is your responsibilities to be informed in what's going on in your club at all times and to be open to any job that might occur. The last thing that I have to say is to have fun and be kind to everyone. Thank you and have a great year. Hi fellow Civitans, I'm Marina Workmeister, your 2020-2021 Florida District Secretary. Being Secretary is no easy job, but I'm here to help you fulfill your role and share some tips to help you succeed in this position. As Secretary, not only is your attendance important, but so is the attendance of every member in your club. It is your job to take attendance of everyone, each meeting, and include those numbers in your notes. Since you're attending every meeting, right, you're in charge of taking any notes about events or decisions your club may make. The decisions your club makes, such as meeting dates or fundraiser ideas, must be written down. In layman's terms, you're taking meeting minutes, which are just detailed notes that serve as an official written record of a meeting or conference. Every note you take should be available for future reference. Which leads to my next point. As secretary, your notes will need to be easily accessed at any time in the future. Your organized and meticulous notes help with the organization of your club. Additionally, in your notes, it is important to include the exact time your meeting begins and ends. Okay, as a recap, now you know your notes should include meeting minutes, club attendance, events and decisions your club makes, 
as well as any other key points your club may need to review in the future. While being secretary may seem like note-taking is your only duty, you are also in charge of creating invitations and writing correspondence, letters, or thank you notes to sponsors. While this may sound like a lot, I hope you all enjoy being a secretary as much as I do and always remember to take a breath and know you are always in reach of a fellow Civitan. Bye! Hello, my name is Tracy Trong. I'm a junior at Robinson High School and I'm your Florida District Public Relations Coordinator for this year. A few things that PRCs are responsible for are keeping club members informed about club activities and projects as well as district events, meetings, and conventions. Danceathon is our big fundraising event for the Civitan International Research Center held at the International Convention in June. Each club is encouraged to have members register to participate and raise money. The purpose of this event is to raise awareness for a special needs population and help out by donating. As Club PRC, you are responsible for promoting your club events. This might include school-wide events, district projects, or volunteering opportunities. One way you can promote events is by connecting with your community and club members through social media. This includes Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Here you can post information about upcoming events and club accomplishments. The Remind app is also an easy way to keep in touch with club members where you can send reminders about club meetings and other activities to keep them up to date about what's going on. A few more things you can do are getting on morning and lunch announcements to talk about what's coming up and create and put out posters and flyers around school. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me at tracytrong2013 at gmail.com or through my number 813-842-6246. I look forward to having a great year, you guys, and wish you all the best. Hello, officers in the Florida District. My name is Jordan Curry, and I'm serving as Lieutenant Governor for the Tampa St. Pete area. This officer training is for the position of treasurer. The treasurer has two duties to fulfill. First, he or she is responsible for maintaining a constant and accurate record of all club financial transactions. This applies even if the club funds are dispersed by the school. Second, he or she is responsible for leading projects which will help improve the financial position of the club. The club's fundraising projects go towards your club, the Civitan International Research Center, Danceathon, and All In Summit. The treasurer should be an effective leader and should take an active role within the club. As a member of the board of directors, he or she should participate in the decision-making process. The treasurer should always be in close contact with the secretary, advisor, and club president. There are certain procedures which, when followed, can assist the treasurer. The following is a list of general rules which can help the treasurer set his or her own structural procedures. 1. Obtain the financial records of the past treasurer and make certain all records are in order. 2. Organize all accounting and budgeting procedures for the coming year. 3. Never retain cash. Be certain the club bank account is in proper order. 4. Deposit all funds immediately. 5. Always obtain a receipt for any expenditures or funds. 6. Always give a receipt upon receiving payments to the club treasury. 7. Transact all club business by check. 8. Keep a general journal to show the chronological flow of funds. 9. Keep the club president and all others concerned informed of the club's financial position. 10. Collect club dues and other money from club projects, gifts, etc. 11. Pay district and international dues by November 1st deadline. 12. Keep all records up to date and accurate. The club treasurer can enlarge upon general rules in any way he or she feels necessary. Just a reminder, when handling money, make sure you follow your school's or district's policies. Budgets are a tool to assist in managing club funds. They help your club to project needs and expenditures. 
an operating budget should be prepared for presentation to the board of directors for approval and then to the club. To prepare the budget, a club must have a plan for how many members will be enrolled, what projects it will undertake, what expenses will be encountered, and etc. A permanent file should be maintained to include members due payments, authorization for payments from the club account, copies of bills, and any other documentation which affects the club's financial position. Search online for budgets if you want more examples and information on them. Click here for more info on Treasurer. This is a reminder not to miss a deadline. Make sure you have your international district dues in by November 1st. For even more information, visit the Florida District website. Jalen Small and I am Lieutenant Governor for Area 1, Jacksonville, Tallahassee, Gainesville, Orlando, and I'm so excited to be a part of this year's Boys District Board. Today, I'm here to talk to you all about the role of historian in your club. Your job as a historian is focused around collecting information, keeping records, and organizing that data. Information that you collect may vary club to club, but it should include collecting member information and important dates and events. Collaborating with your club's PRC, Public Relations Coordinator, and our president will be very important so that they can give you the correct information about club activity. As far as records go, it is your duty to take pictures of meetings, events, fundraisers, or anything that your club takes part in. Here are some tips to help you get through the year. Keep your information in a shared file online or on another platform where your president and or advisor can access. Try to maintain a system of organization. This is especially important in making sure that the details are documented and recorded so they can be accessed at a later date if needed. Work on communication between your officers, your advisor, and your sponsor. This way, information can be passed quickly and efficiently. It is also important that if you have any questions, concerns, or any sort of input that you add it to the conversation. In the event that you are not present at a meeting or activity, you need to make sure that someone you can trust can take over your responsibilities for the time being. As a suggestion, that person might be a fellow officer, your club's advisor, or a director. Your role is key and fundamental to the success of your club. With this being said, it is also important that you realize you cannot do it on your own. Work with your officers and your club members so that you can collectively work to achieve the goals of your club. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you all have a wonderful year. Be safe. Hello, Junior Civitan members of the Florida District. My name is Deuce Curry, Lieutenant Governor for the Naples area, with the presentation on International Convention. What a better way to close out one year and kick off the next than gathering together with Junior Civitans from across the globe for a weekend full of service, education, and fellowship. Each summer, Junior Civitan International hosts an international convention in a destination city in the United States, and all Junior Civitan members are invited to join in on the fun. From electing next year's inter international leaders, learning general leadership skills, completing training for new specific officer positions, and having loads of fun with new and old friends. At International Convention, which will be in Tampa, Florida in 2021, it will give all Junior Civitans an opportunity to showcase their club's achievements and accomplishments over the year. At every International Convention, members attend the civvies and all awards are announced that night. What a better way to see how you or your fellow Junior Civitans are making the world a better place. It's just like attending a real award show like the Emmys. The convention also hosts the annual Dance-A-Thon event, which raises funds for the Civitan International Research Center. This is one of the main fundraising events that juniors participate in. It's hours of fun, themes, dancing, and dancing all night. Anyone can participate either virtually or in person by raising at least $50. This is a perfect way to help earn points for your club to receive the Honor Club Recognition Award.
best way to get to international convention is to fundraise now and ask your senior club for help. International convention is the ultimate junior Civitan experience. Don't miss out. The memories you make will truly last for a lifetime. Hope to see you there.